start stream recording. Session. <laughs> this, this is blowing my mind. <laughs> All right, and here we are back at the uh, ZSB Games Chrono Trigger playthrough. It's going to, I guess we didn't mention this last time, so I guess I'll say it's going to be like pretty much a hundred percent walkthrough. P pretty much. And we're gonna try to show off as many you know tips, secrets, and things as we can. And actually, okay. one thing I forgot to mention, or I didn't notice last time was that that thing we picked up was uh, that speed belt we picked up I said it was just another speed belt we don't need this but it's actually oh, yeah, a it's better a speed belt. it's a better it's actually a speed higher than the bandana so I will put that on yeah well, get your head out of your ass obviously yeah <laughs> all right and now oh yeah I'm here too and yeah. Ander is also here uh, yep. use my stage name. JJ. JJ. I'm actually uh, the great J J Jiggling, Jiggling Jaker. Yeah, jiggling Jaker. <laughs> the, the Juggling Jester. And I'm Polis. Yep. <laughs> we never did explain uh, who <laughs> we were joke. in detail. I'm oh. actually Drew, otherwise known as JJ. Yep. Um, I, you know what? I don't think I've ever formally introduced myself on the stream. Uh, I, I mean, for good reason. I always pretend Doesn't really to be matter. else. I'm pretty much like the curator, like the big, the head cheese of this whole operation. That's where you're going, Medina. Yeah, I know. I just want to show off. Right here, we can go. We technically can go to Project Protodon. That's where he just came from. And it will let us go to Mystic Mountain, 65 million BC, even though there's nothing we can do there. Yeah. We can hunt and, like, get experience, but right now, we're headed to... Medina Village, 1000 AD. I remember the first like hundred times that I played through the game, I didn't know how to make all nine of the portals show up because there was always one that I was missing. It was probably the 1000 AD and the uh, by the castle. Yeah, because you never need to go back there ever. Yeah. Oh look, we all came out of the closet. <laughs> Damn it! And it happened live. <laughs> Get out of here! And he's like doing a little hand flip. Is this, is this bigoted? Uh, am, I, am I reading this correctly now? Yeah. You people. What do you mean, you people? Yeah, what do you mean, you people? Just come out of the closet. No, he's actually, he's actually saying it. Uh, did you people just come out of the closet too? Get out of here! He's shocked. Oh, uh, why was he giving us raspberries? Do you, do you guys know what I just watched the other day? This kind of reminds me of it. What is it? Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Um. Little Monsters. <laughs> no. <laughs> no one's watched I, that. I watched the. But that, that's a good guess. Looking at these guys, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, no, it. <laughs> it's funny. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I watched the uh, the Dennis the Menace episode of uh, Game Grumps. Oh. Mm -hmm. With the get out of here. Oh, that. One. <laughs> yeah. I well, think that's... Little Monsters was a better guess. Yeah, I actually was... want to pick that for a movie night. Little Monsters? For, for those who don't know... I oh, don't Fred Savage. Every week I, it doesn't and... hold up very well. No, it well, doesn't. What's the point? It's supposed to be awful and something we can talk over and just socialize with. Oh, I was going to recommend a good movie. I actually well, watched uh, The Negotiator today. What, The Priceline Negotiator with William Shatner? Yeah. Penny Absolutely. Penny it was great. What I was talking about, yes. yes. William Shatner and uh, John Cusack and uh, Morgan Freeman. That. I would pay to see that movie. Yep. Oh, here's our second look at the Magus statue. You mean Magus? Yeah, Magus. Or, um, Magus. Oh, we, we agreed it was Magus. Magus. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Magus. Magus. I thought it was Magus, actually. Magus. That's what I just said. Yeah, it's Magus. We agreed on Magus. I'm messing We did with agree you. with Magus. Wait, we what, we what, agreed on A uh, Ayla, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Ayla. Not that yeah. was a silent, a silent L, Aya. Aya. <laughs> oh man, these guys are talking about how Magus Aya, uh, nice. summoned Lavos. Can I have your no? I believe it's Lavos. <laughs> or a, or a, a, it's, it's a Lave operating system. <laughs> Lay's potato chips. Lay. Nah, well, yeah, I bet you can't have just one. You pop, the fun don't stop. Oh, I, I forgot that you could actually talk to Ozzy. Yeah, you can talk to Ozzy's ancestor. I He's never a... explored this area. Yeah, this is a... That's, a, that's a clue. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is a really important area. 
Oh, there's something shining on the team. Yeah, look at that. What? Oh, magic tab. We've stolen all of Ozzy's magic tabs. Oh. Thanks for the tip, bro. Oh. That's not the first time, nor will it be the last time you've said that to me, Bledge. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't talking to you at all. <laughs> He's got plans. I always make my victim say thanks for the tip. Yep. <laughs> oh, and also I've got a... Awesome. I'm gonna start uh, not mashing through, but I'll keep this uh, text up for a second in case anyone wants to read it. And yeah, ratings from losers. So this guy in the chat says, <laughs> "Let's love who." It's La French. Lavo. Maybe Lavo actually if it was French. Lavo. Lavo. No, that would be Lavo. Oh man, Lavo. these guys Lavo. don't like that I'm trying to buy stuff. It's not Lavo, man. Have you ever spoken French before? I didn't say Lavo. <laughs> I didn't say you said uh, Lavu! I, I didn't say Lavu, like, uh, uh, you know, the like Quebec Livre or whatever. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, we just uh, totally killed exercise. that guy's boss. One, it's Godzilla is not impressed by your shenanigans. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's pronounced shenanigans. Yes, you were correct. Oh, snap. Oh, an Antipode. Antipode. Uh, didn't we look it up? Isn't it actually Antipode? It was antipode. Well, antipode. Antipode. All right, I guess it's. Wait, okay. If we can beat this guy up, can't we just steal all this stuff? Yeah, you selling? think so? And look at this. Look at these prices. Come on now. They're not even as good as the gear I got. All right, these are better, well, but totally still. afford nothing. I cannot afford this crap. I'm out of hey, here. Hey, Fletch, I just did a check on the stream. Could you up uh, the volume for me and Matt? Cause up the volume for you guys. Let me see. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, viewer. That's you. Well, I don't know how to do it for you guys then. It's the one on the right. Is that? So, is it really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought that was like game volume. No. It's but game and Skype volume. Ah. Did you? Uh, did you hit the? What? <laughs> That's my train of thought. The, uh, you're probably gonna have a few. What are you <laughs> saying? Stroke, everybody. If We're you, happening live. If you raise that volume, it's gonna up the game volume too. But so you'll want to adjust that down a little bit more in your system mixer. I already oh, dropped the game volume in the system mixer. I know, but drop it a little bit more because it was good volume where it was. But if you upped the volume for us, then it's too loud now. Oh my god! Well, you, you guys enjoy know. these guys walking around. I just want, I want everyone to be comfortable and happy. Oh yeah. And free. I don't believe right, in I'll, that. I'll do another check. Oh man. There's no way. I gotta... Oh no, he's gonna get me. <laughs> These guys will not let me sleep, dude. What's up with this? It's racism is what it is. I know, they're prejudiced against humans. I mean, it makes sense. They kind of are stuck to their own island. We don't let them... Uh... Talk to the rest of us. Well, I mean, they lost the war. They have to go to their island and hang out. Is that how it goes? I mean, they should be glad that we gave them an island. I'm pretty sure that's how it happened with the British, too, when they lost the war, right? Yeah. Like, well, we could have uh, gone back overseas. back to Britain. Yeah, we thought we could have gone overseas and taken Britain from them. But you know what? We let them keep it. I say we like I'm an American or some shit and I, I don't know. know anything about the uh, history of the West, but... <laughs> Uh, Canada's close enough. You're yeah, closer yeah. than England. But, but we actually are the British, and we're the British who fought the French, and we beat the French, and so we gave them Quebec. Yep. That's why no one likes Quebec. Well, I mean, if, if they want, like, we keep telling them to take Quebec out, just entirely, but... <laughs> right. What, for like a nice dinner? <laughs> no, just like, yes. off of Canada. Um... Mac, will you check the stream and tell me what you think about the volume now? Yes. Make sure you turn your yeah. mic off. All right, and here's a. If you I have a headset. Sure. Here's a little secret I area do, for I later. We can't get to it, do anything with it right now, but it'll be an important thing to come back to. I want you to show me. I did. I hey, just showed you. Where's Melchior? Melchior. Melchior. <laughs> Oh, wait, is this his house? This is this is a little <laughs> hut. It says uh, hut, but was pretty quiet just to begin with. Yeah. It says hut, but it's a pretty nice don't just house. Say, yeah, Fletch, you, 
Max giving you feedback here. Yeah. What up, is he... uh, up all of the volume. Up all of the volume? Like this volume? Yeah, okay, so put that up by two bars, and then put your volume up by two bars. Alright. <laughs> That's one bar. That's two bars, okay. Yeah. We're that, counting, everybody. How about you, streamer guy who's watching? What do you say? Does things sound okay for you? It, yeah. Maybe we're doing this for you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he's we gone can... now. <laughs> there you go, oh, well. Is he? No, he's not. Know. He's still here. Mel hey, hey. Gior. Mel uh, Mel no. Okay, and now, now you're definitely adding too much French. Mel Schwar. Alright, here's Melkor's house. It says it's a hut, but it's a pretty damn big for a hut. I would like a hut this big. But our next destination is Sekran Cave. There's, yeah, what, what are these guys just like hanging out in the cave waiting yeah, for dude. passerbys they, to come by? Humans all... who are not on this island by chance? Anyway. No, they were really just hanging out. And like, this is where they go to just chill. Well then shit, we're imposing. Yeah. I know, we're like the dicks in this situation. There's like, just there's, dude. Yeah, there's no humans on this island. We just showed up here. Like, These guys are just chilling, and we're coming up and fighting them for no reason. To be fair, yeah, they are it... ultra racists, apparently. Well, they are. But we sort of shoved them into an island and told them you can't leave. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a, a an expose gamer journalism blog thing going on where it's going to be like, we were the real enemy all along. Oh. In Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, they already did that. It was called Chrono Cross, and yeah. they, that was about how we were the enemy all along. What are you doing? You gotta use magic. I know, I have to use magic. I was just seeing if I could not use magic real fast. Oh, well, that was quite the, uh... Okay, maybe on that one you can. Put the pot? I'm thinking no. Nope. Just magic. I think that's why, you know, all of the game's hints were telling you that you can only use magic in the well, upcoming... Normally, uh, when you can't use physical attacks on something, they'll just say miss. That's true. But it just has really high physical defense. Oh wait, let's see if, uh, let's have a look at a little anti-pode. Unfortunately it's a oh, single attack, a single target attack, but... Well, anti-pode 1 is lame, because it's just like... Yeah. It's literally them just using... Their, their, their attack. spell magic and at once, and it's like, okay, whatever. But once you get into the cool, like... It does do a lot of damage, clearing. though. Oh, yeah. Oh, great, you're blinded. Yeah, that means I can't attack. I thought I was trying to attack. See, I, I really appreciate any kind of RPG where status effects don't actually last after a battle. Oh, I know. I hate it when they, you know, persist outside of battle. I, I actually prefer it that way. No, it especially more, poison. Uh, it makes the the field map more strategic, other than just a means to a battle. This may, means you have to mm, stock up point. on crap supplies. I mean, b both styles have their place. It just depends on how the game's balanced. If it's balanced well, either one will feel fine. See, I wouldn't mind a mix, like because poison is the most fucking annoying thing. Yeah, ever. well, I mean, like yeah. poison in Pokemon. F that. <laughs> That's, I hate it. It's stupid. Like, yeah, if there was some combination where, like, in battle, status effects actually cleared after the battle, but there were still hazards in the overworld that could, like, have status effect type or damage, like, yeah, it's like traps or some stuff that you have to walk out for, then that's fine. But I, I just, I hate having to be like, oh shit, I forgot that my one dude was paralyzed at the end of that last battle. Now yeah. I got into a new battle. And he's just paralyzed he's, still and he can't do anything. He's just sitting there. Yeah. Jumping yeah, around. Just, it just depends on how it's balanced. In a lot of cases, it's not balanced well. In Pokemon, for instance, I would rather, like, any trainer battle on the field, you just start with full health every time. What's the point? Yeah. What's well, the that's point? Different. The game has free and limitless healing. I could just go back every time and just heal and have the same effect. You could. Well, that's kind of how Pokemon runs, right? Because Pokemon but, on its own is easy, so they yeah, just but, make things tedious to give the illusion of difficulty. But it's training you in the wrong thing, is because in a trainer battle against your friends, you don't start with anything but full health every time. 
That's true. So what's the point of being able to manage it? Like, why are they teaching us that skill? It's not. Po it's pointless. It adds time. I think that's the point. In a game like Pokemon, I want to spend 30 hours on it, but I want to do it all in like training and battling. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't know. L listen up, Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're watching the stream right now. Yep. But yeah, Number it does. It does seem tedious. Uh, so, Drew, you've never played Final Fantasy XII, right? Fletch, have you? Final Fantasy what? Programming. Twelve. Twelve? Mm, no, I don't think so. Uh, there's a... Uh, I, I think it's a new status effect anyway. It's the only game that I've ever seen it in, called Disease. Mm. Where basically, if you're hit with disease, your... your current HP becomes your max HP. So if you really? take damage, you cannot heal it. Oh wow! Just, just whatever your HP falls to becomes your new HP. And that's actually you think that'd be like, you know, it, it, it does add like the whole like, okay, you got to remove disease before you can heal. It's an extra step. It, it, it that does actually complicate things in a in a really good way, and it's fun. Until you run into the traps in a dungeon, where it causes disease, and you realize that you don't have the spell to cure disease. And if you die and you use like a phoenix down to revive your guy, you start at one health, and that's your max. It gets rough. Oh, I don't know if you can li Oh, you can line them up. Yep. It makes some sense. They're flying, but whatever. Uh, you just have to wait for him to line himself up. Yeah, disease. No cool. It's <laughs> no bueno. Well, we're just so international this, uh, this run. <laughs> I know. I also speak uh, pig Latin. You. Nobody does. You. <laughs> you already <laughs> screwed it up. <laughs> you already screwed it up. Ooh yeah. The first word you couldn't even get right. I was gonna call you a like an ag fay, but I mean, <laughs> that was kosher. That's why I stopped. So, ooh yeah, thank you. Oh goodness. Ooh, ooh yeah, is that a? Uh, Amen. Oh, hey. <laughs> shut up. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah, at least you got the reference. That's why you told me to shut up. Shut up often. Sometimes I oh, yeah, that's consistent, sometimes I don't. Oh. Just accidentally unmuted the stream. Oh. Well, that's terrible. I noticed. You're terrible. You're, you're bad. What happens to all the, the water when she uses her ice attack? What happens to what? The water. What water? Look at the water. The it's water out. around? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It's called, uh, Mode 7. <laughs> that's not Mode 7. <laughs> but, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 uh... It's, uh, the game can't handle all they, they the stuff on use, screen at once, so they, they turn off use, filters. They need to use that, uh, layer for the yeah, graphic yeah, it's, it's all about turning off layers. Yeah, so they fade it out so it's not jarring. Yeah. Right. Well, until I played, uh, Shovel Knight, I didn't realize that in, um... I guess in most NES games, like primarily I would have noticed in Mega Man, there's always a sound channel dedicated, like there is no sound channel dedicated to sound effects. So for, for most games, they'll have music channels that use, you know, all, all seven channels and whatever. Uh, and then whenever they need a sound effect in the game, like a sound from a jump or a, a shot, they will remove one of those channels to play the sound effect in its slot. Yeah, I mean, once you actually start looking at the programming of old games like that, you get kind of impressed at some of the tricks that they pulled off, and you don't even realize it half the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, and, it, uh, it, oh god, I was gonna say in, in, in most games, it's probably they like mute like a bass channel or something, something that's in the background of the song. So, yeah. Oh, see, I actually love that. I was gonna say in uh, in Mega Man Five, you, you you use these M tanks that can refill all of your uh, weapon energy. But it does it slowly, and it does that whole, like, three like, refill sound while it does it for every single one. But while it's doing that, it cuts out the melody line of whatever song's playing. So all you hear is the, like, percussion, the harmony, and the bass, and it sounds oh, wow. awesome. Yeah. Uh, 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 hey, DeBully. DeBully has uh, joined me and Ryan for both of our Mario playthroughs. Oh, wow. How about that? Hey, I was there for one of those playthroughs. I was there for... One also, the Super Mario World one. And I finally caught up on the Super Mario Bros. 3 one today. Yeah, I watched the first video, but not the second one. 
Yeah, the first video was shit, so I was just like... Uh, <laughs> 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 I, gotta, I gotta force my way through the rest. I decided to give up there. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah. I was just, uh, I was sort of just like playing guitar, and then I heard them mention my name, and I was like, Oh, oh this is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I consider uh, myself a Mario master, okay? Oh, At do least you? In Mario World, <laughs> I, I would consider myself the master. Fletch, as well as you know Chrono Trigger, that's at least as well as I know Super Mario. Oh, that's that's debatable. That's not debatable at all. Uh, yeah, no, no, that's, that's not debatable. debatable. <laughs> well, then in that case, I consider myself uh, uh, mostly a Mega Man master. That'll be my mastery thing. Yeah. Right. Oh, and I'm good at just about every game. But that's that's just you know hash, yeah. retweeted by humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that reminds me, Mac. We still have to finish up Battle Block. Yeah! Ah, oh, We were right at the end. You oh, yeah. See, that, that's become one of my favorite series, because it's uh, you and me starting off really friendly, and then getting super frustrated with <laughs> it, each other. It always. That's yeah, how games like that work. We, we, we always have a different idea how to solve things. And you know what? Yeah. I think both, uh, both ways we, we, you know, both... What, what word am I thinking of, Mac? Both methods. Yes. <laughs> both methods are probably equal. But we, we refuse to see eye to eye. Yeah, like that uh, Goof Troop song. Yep. <laughs> but uh, any game that's cooperative <laughs> is going to just start off friendly and get progressively angrier and angrier. That block makes on. it even worse because you can usually directly kill each other. Yeah. Or and directly kill each other. <laughs> well, when Steve and I were playing through Portal 2, uh, there were definitely more than a few moments where, oh, oh I'm yeah. just going to turn off this bridge. Yeah, I know. I did that with Dustin a lot. Well, I mean, you, you have to do that. That's, <laughs> that's why they. They let you do it. You don't have to do it to intentionally screw your uh, teammates. I just liked it. I mean, Gl GLaDOS basically encourages it by by making fun of the person that gets killed. <laughs> oh yeah, good point. It, it is a. Uh, they incentivize it. Yeah, it's a it's a reward. Yeah, it's not. You don't get punished for it. You get a new funny sound clip. And... Oh no, uh, I'm showing something off right now. If you hold down the X button, you just straight up auto attack. Wait, are you kidding? Wait. Well, it's because wait. he he turned on the uh, battle cursor remembering, so... Wait, well, it happens wait. in normal gameplay also. I know, but... Seriously, just... you can do that? I did yeah. not actually know. If, uh, yeah, you just hold down the X button and you'll just auto-attack. Although, like... to be fair, it took me like five years to realize that you could run from battles in this game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they never teach you about it. They like... really don't. They, it's not really taught in the game and you have no idea. There's not a run option. You just have and to there's know. no run animation, really. Yeah. Like, in Final Fantasy or whatever, you hold L and R, and your dudes will, like, run in place with their backs turned, and it looks like they're, like, ready to run. You're like, okay, I'm doing something. Yeah. In this game, they just kind of stand there, and then after a while, it's like, you ran away. Yep. Here, you have to know to press L and R to run away. Yeah, and then again, in, in this game, I mean, when do you ever really need to run away? Never. 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 You and, did uh, it. I think we're going to use our magic tab on who. Uh, uh, Luca's already got super high magic. Yeah, I just gave. I think Chrono, just in preparation for Luminaire. Well, you're uh, damn right. Preparation H. Yeah, preparation H. On the whole, preparation H feels good. Preparation A through G were complete disasters. But... Therefore, they actually caused more irritation. <laughs> I was actually talking about uh, Austin Powers the other day. I, uh, <laughs> the first open. one is still legitimately good comedy. The other two are, were dumb. Um, I, I feel like Goldmember feels really campy now, so I can kind of get into it. Like, <laughs> yeah, they they knew they knew everything. They were they're, they're, oh, they yeah. thanked on the old one a little too much. But now that <laughs> enough pa time has passed since the first one was in our mind, it feels a little funnier now. Mm -hmm. I don't know, the, the first one was just so clever about its humor and like on on making fun of its own tropes, whereas the other two were just way too in, like they embraced. They were a lot more obvious. Yeah, it was. It was. It didn't feel tongue in cheek. It yeah, tongue. It was out. less a parody and almost a parody of itself. It really was. Like yeah. that. That that's as self-aware as a series can get. Yeah. Except for maybe like the start of Evil Dead 2, where he's in the cabin and he's like, I feel like we've read this book already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I thought that was Evil Dead was dude, Dead 2 was good there. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Evil Dead 2. Evil Dead 1 or Evil Dead 2? What's your pick? I actually, uh, don't care for them. But what? Really? I don't know. They both have their. They both have their own good qualities. I, I, I prefer the first one. Time. Yeah. The first one's straight up horror. The second one's super camp. Yeah. So you'll probably like the second one more. But uh, oh, you're 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 killing yourself, dude. I'm wondering if I can beat him before I, I die. Yeah. Nope. Water way. I thought I could, you know, force through him. You still do this? No. How much health does he have left? Use anti po B. No. I need to use a midi mid uh, tonic. Midi chlorine. Chlorine. But Chrono's not gonna get any XP. Well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna revive him and then heal him. Oh, that's a hundred gold down the drain. Brief counterattack break. Yeah. I don't know if you just like, poof, I am so tired from counterattacking. <laughs> like you, say, you think he's saying that out loud? Yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah. I'm gonna give you guys some free hits, it's alright. Yeah, alright, go, come on, take, take your shots. He's got like two mystic buddies holding his arms behind his back. Right. <laughs> oh, we gotta make sure we stop by uh, Luca's house so we can get all the free yeah. hits to on. It's uh, definitely gonna Tabin? be a thing. Tabin. Yo, what are you doing? No, indeed. You mean toboggan? <laughs> <laughs> He's not doing the counterattack. I know it's evasion. I say evasion. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it more than once. Oh, come on. How much HP do you have? Go ahead, try and attack. You find out right now. No, no, no don't use a, use a uh, dual attack with Chrono Marl since you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, or a world. Or, yeah, or a world. You... Just stupid. let him not counterattack, man. Why well, you gotta hot dog it? Because <laughs> it doesn't kill you. Yeah, it this just... isn't a hot dog in with with Ryan and Drew. It doesn't kill yeah. you. It just almost kills you. All right, I'll do an or a world. To make you happy. I know how much damage this counterattack does. That's the beauty thing about uh, RPGs. It's all math. Yep. It comes right down to it. There we go. So you didn't even need that aura world. I guess I can shut my mouth. I guess you can shut your whore mouth, you prick. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I was just about to point out how hilarious it is that this guy's like dying words or exposition. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh, I'm dying. <laughs> Let me tell you what you need to do next. <laughs> He really didn't oh. even need to do that because if you talk to is, people in the town, they tell you the same thing. Is? That's it's a uh, lore passed down through the mystics. They were all talking about it. And by the way, weren't they like, weren't they not called mystics in Japan? Didn't they have like a more? They're probably like, called they just monsters. Or something? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> they were monsters or demons, like, but they 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 cleaned it up a little bit. They were called Baka Gaijin. Oh, don't worry, Dibuli. It's nowhere near as exciting. Yeah, I, I only is, know how to hot dog. This is Fletch hot dog, and he's showing up all his skills. Yep. Oh, you know what? There's there's a game that we should uh, we should stream that we hot dog in all the time. Oh it's yeah. Worms. Yeah, <laughs> definitely <laughs> some. We, that was the game that like invented hot dogging. It yeah, was. Right. That's where hot dogging was born. <laughs> <laughs> and just That's like regular awesome. hot dogging, uh, mostly you get the bun. <laughs> yep. yeah. Sometimes that's you where do. hot dogging was born, and that's where hot dogging's going to die. Yep. Here's uh, Luca's bedroom. Sometimes she'll have like journals and stuff you can read. Are there actually journals like in the? I, I know there's the journals in the uh, the time travel thingy, but I never yeah, noticed any past. journals otherwise. I think it might just be in the past. I can't recall. All right, so we've we've decided that he's got a goatee, right? Yeah, he does or, have or a goatee. the man boobs? He doesn't They're have a... Boobs. It's not a... He's either got a gigantic chin or a goatee. I'm pretty sure that he's just got a, a low-cut v-neck. <laughs> oh my it's god. a low-cut v-neck and he's got lady boobs. <laughs> look at him. Talk, talk to him from the side and we'll look at him up close and personal. Alright. You know what? Maybe he just... He doesn't want to turn to the side. 
mind, dude. Yeah, <laughs> he was, he was all self-conscious now because he heard us talking about. <laughs> on, Those guys. are big old <laughs> boobs. Guys, leave Don't worry. Boobs out of this. We're about to oh. uh, go back to the past. I had an estrogen problem. Too. Wait, go to the uh, go to the the shop so you can get the the, the gift from from oh, Fritz's yes. parents. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a callback. Episode one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Here's Fritz. Go, 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 go call back. Fritz, we call, we uh, oh. if you remember, we saved Fritz from execution. We don't know what he was in for. He probably murdered and buried somebody in the woods and got caught. <laughs> and we just decided to rescue him. Yeah, it was like, oh, pff, I'm breaking out of jail. Might as well break everybody out of jail. Right? We don't know if he was there on false charges or not. We just let him out. He's a domestic terrorist, is what he is. Fritz sounds vaguely European. Yep. Well, that's German. Stupid. Oh, then that's not vague at all. <laughs> that's just right <laughs> in there. <laughs> it's a, it's a g -g -g ghost. Yeah. Well, of course, right? It's just. It's just... Colonel, it... I'm in your. <laughs> He's just like, uh, in your debt. Thanks. He doesn't even have a name. Please just buy just... whatever you like. Like, how is oh, that? Yeah. yeah. yeah that, thanks for the reward. Upgrade. You could give me a discount, bro. Upgrade is my favorite uh, pimp name. You guys ever watch? Uh, <laughs> sure. You guys ever watch uh, Idiocracy? Yes. Oh, I haven't seen that in years. It is a great movie. That's one of my favorites. That's actually one that I should rewatch for sure, because I watched it when I was way too young. Probably missed like half the jokes. How young were you when that came out? You couldn't have been that young. Okay, fine. Not young, not paying attention. <laughs> Same thing, right? Pretty much. Welcome, Chrono. It's so polite of him. He says welcome every time you come over. Yep, he's very yeah. nice. He's a real nice guy, real great guy, real fun guy. And You're that's welcome, the last Fritz. we ever see of Fritz. Yeah, yep. he's dead. His dad kills him. Forgive and him now... <laughs> We can use the uh, we can use either the uh, time portal in the forest or the one in Lean Square. Lean Square is a lot faster though. You to... Yeah. Although I do like uh, running into the castle just to have uh, the guards be like, "What the hell? There he is!" Yeah, the guards will just uh, chase you right back out again. Better get out of here. Whoa, trippy. Oh, we got two new portals. Oh, is this where uh, he performs his uh, first miracle and feeds everybody with jerky? Yes, I thought you were yes. going to say circumcision. Uh, he, uh... <laughs> it's like one piece Why? of jerky, too. Yeah, he feeds an entire army with one piece of jerky. What is he, Jesus? He, he's pretty Have much Jesus. Have you seen the game theory on it? Yeah, I've, I've seen the game theory on it. He's pretty much exactly Jesus. Yeah. Chrono is Jesus. And uh, this, we didn't even go into this portal, but they were just giving it to us. I guess because it was connected to the... Yeah, it opens up, it opens up yes. two at a time, except for the 2300 AD one, because that one goes nowhere. Nope. Curious, it, eh? Who knows where that might have been? It, I probably know it. It could have either gone to Medina Village or 65 million BC, because, you know, both of those opened up automatically when we got here. It's the one three-way portal? Yep. Yeah, you, you gotta turn left at Albuquerque. I like I like the time travel in this game. I know we talked about it before. It's just it's just interesting. Mm -hmm. Like what if we what if we could find these portals in our world? What what time period would they connect to arbitrarily? The or worst ones. Not question mark. Obviously, these are not arbitrary portals because they always connect to somewhere yeah. significant. Well, they always We're connect to the same place. It seems like time here or time in Chrono Trigger. There's something directing where these portals Yeah, they go, The portals go a set distance and time backwards, and time is always moving forward from that point. I know, but it's just it's just weird why the portal... I mean, shouldn't it just be random where where they connect to? Oh, apparently not. What, like, like random wormholes. times? Why, why, are, why are all the times significant? Uh... There's, no, there's, no dud, there's no dud portal that takes you somewhere that's worthless that has nothing to do with the rest of the game. Well, that's that's the whole point of what causes the uh, the portals, right? They yeah. have that big conversation that's in what the, the, uh, the discussion fire, about the entity. Is. Scene. Yeah, so it's it's not that these portals are random or 
whatever, but they're directed by some force that is sending them on this journey. Yeah, but what what is that force? Uh, the planet. Maybe. Yep. All right, and you have to go that's, down. That's, that's the prevailing theory, anyway. That the entity is the planet, and it's the uh, the planet yeah. kind of sending. Yeah, that's around what to that's what people itself. say. But I, I think don't something know. with the, the, this kind of power, this kind of time control. Time it can be literally control. anything. Who knows? Are what you about that... to get religious on me, man? No. Who who knows what that being or beings? I like to think that it's. Are. I like to think it's Alphador, Magus's cat. The, the power itself. <laughs> Everybody wants to think it's Alphador. <laughs> The power itself is incomprehensible. Because so if how, you, how can, we, how can if, we guess at the motivation? I don't know, but if you recall, Alphador, it was on in Zeal in the palace when all, it fell from the earth, and Alphador is one of the only beings that survived. It's true. And cats don't like water. Uh, nope. Run, it's Godzilla. Yes, we have all played this game before, not together as a group, and we've each played it a different amount. All right, and this actually tripped me up when I first started playing, because My brother, he's, uh, he's what? Your he's uh, that's what you get. He's he's saying that his brother's no uh, a douchebag, but he cares about him. Yeah, if you forget that like you have to get the jerky here, you cannot advance in the game, and they they really don't do too much to yeah. hint that this is what you're supposed to do. Well, it's not just that, but even when you think, oh, I'll get it from the chef, yeah, I'll, and you he come down here. He just he does this and you're like over here talking to all the maids and all the you know people and you're like I don't know what to do and when you get finally pissed off enough you leave. And yeah, and you have to leave like the floor too. It's extra yeah. like are you kidding me? And then he comes all the way over here. Yeah, what do you mean wait? We were waiting. We're not waiters. Oh, I got a jerky. One jerky. <laughs> and I got a power tab. Oh, uh, Drew, I was hoping you you pick up on my, my obscure mangled reference to uh, Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door. Oh, what did you say? I'm sorry. I said when he, he tells us to wait and I said we're not waiters. Uh, I don't even... What, what a part pun. is that referencing? The, uh, the, the, not the leader of the X-Nots, like the X-Not commander guy or whatever when he's in a Lord, fight with... Uh, Lord Grotus? Yep. Yeah, Grotus! When Nintendo Grotus is in a fight does with love the, their uh, puns. the pirate guy and they're fighting or whatever and like if you... Uh, there's one of the dialogues back and forth. Is like the one says like to wait, and he's like, "Wait, do I look like a waiter to you?" <laughs> yeah, okay. That, that's a very obscure reference, Mac. Yeah. And I feel like I play that game a lot. Well, you know what? I make a lot of obscure references. You know, I, I love your obscure references, but sometimes I just don't get them. Okay. You, anyway, the point your... is, Chrono is Jesus, and and wait, no, such. we moved on from that a long time ago. Yeah, we did. That was like ten minutes ago. See, although if if the entity is the Earth, then I think it's uh, showing Chrono and the gang all of these scenes of history to be like, dude, you suck. If Chrono Cross teaches us anything, it's that human beings are bad for the uh, the planet. Indeed. But I don't know. I've never liked the. Uh, that's that's a square, very much a square thing that the planet is alive and cares about things. Well, yeah, that was the biggest draw of uh, Final Fantasy VII and whatnot, makes, right? Yeah. Well, it makes our planet different than the other planets that other Lavos um, parasites have destroyed. There's no difference. Uh, Who's to say that Lavos to draw didn't humanoid characters? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, did those planets also protect themselves in this way? Like, Oh, boom! Now there's a cool idea. Imagine if Chrono Break, if it ever got made, had you had actually like a, a large part of the game devoted to you traveling to other planets that Lavos and his kind had in like infected? Oh really? Like in 2300 AD, where uh, it's no longer you know broken, but they have spaceships and they're hunting down Lavos. <laughs> like that is not even kind of what I said, but okay. <laughs> that's a that's a better idea than what you said. That'd, that'd be like the anime version of it. I just meant it'd be cool, like, if there were still, like, portals and shit, but you go through the portals and they travel you not just through time, but through space. It would yeah. lead to a lot more, uh, I mean, inventive that, locales. That's the next, uh, logical step, because Chrono Trigger was time. Chrono Cross was dimensions. Yeah. So what, where do you go from that? Like, just space! Whole new worlds. Like, alien in the extreme. Well, that, that might be too experimental, too, too weird for mask and appeal, but that'd be cool. Like, I, you just go I to a like different, what if you go to a different world where, like, physics, they just don't exist in the same 
Oh man, it's blowing my mind. <laughs> you go to a different world where uh. everybody's a gas. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh well, that's great. We don't well, need that, to that's, anything. But that's still that's still obeying the physicality of our universe, Mac. I'm talking about like, what if we go there and everyone is a flirt? Narp. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. Like, yeah, what would what would we do? Well, I mean, that's what I mean. Like, it's something that doesn't even have an analog in our. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, okay, but this is Japanese development. I'm pretty sure there's just gonna be tentacles everywhere. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they won't. They won't take. They won't take it's the. Only slightly racist. They won't take the <laughs> alien, alienosity far enough. Alienosity. Are you Aliens sure, uh, will are you likely be angels. For alienosity? Shut up. I mean, ninety percent of the time when there's aliens in a Japanese game, they're angels. Oh yeah, that. Uh well, the, well, the whole like religion thing is kind of all over the time anyway. Yeah. Oh man, here comes Zombor. He's one of the one of the first. This guy's the worst. He's a very good gimmick boss. This was always like a really tough battle, like compared to the rest. Yeah, it is. That's why I saved before I entered the bridge. In case you blow it. Oh, uh, guys, we got a new uh, subscriber. We got a new a hole. <laughs> it's Dustin. Yep. <laughs> hey, where where'd the bully go? Uh, I guess he was disappointed that it wasn't Ryan and me. Oh yeah. Uh, that must be it. And it might also be because this is a much slower paced game. Yeah, this is going to be a very slow paced game. It's not going to be action. It's going to yeah, be us. Hard. That's, it's that's hard. Hard. not just talking about the game. We're talking it's going to be us talking. Alright, well, Ice will heal the bottom half. Dude, and that pointer's right on his skeleton dog. Yep. Just let you know. <laughs> it, those I've, are two I've... little skeleton falls and one little skeleton <laughs> meter. Correct right me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's called a pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like two little, two little balls there. And yep. <laughs> Stop making me look at skeleton balls. <laughs> little skeleton dog. Doesn't do it for me. It does it for everyone. All right. Although, the yeah, the like whole gimmick of this fight. Let me, let me explain the gimmick of this fight. Is that fire will damage the bottom portion and ice will damage the top portion. And if you use either on the other side, it will heal it. What does lightning do? Anything? I it's don't remember. I think lightning is. I think lightning's neutral. Well, not immunities, but absorption. Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. This, that's a good point. This is the first battle in the game that really teaches you about how different enemies react to different magic types. Yeah. I really, I really need to start healing. Yeah. I mean, you don't think about it when you're playing it, but there's a lot of clever tricks in this this game design. They, they, they really knew what they were doing back then. Yeah. It's not just modern game design that's super aware of that kind of stuff. You know, good modern game design. Yeah. I don't know, it's always the like subtle things that you don't notice that that really appeal to me. Like in uh, Super Metroid, where like you you progress through the game by having to run left instead of right. And it's like what? Yeah. Or it will look... go right automatically. Well, it puts you on edge the whole time because it doesn't feel natural. Yeah, it feels like you have to explore. Like you're not just running levels and levels, which I like. Yeah. Oh, oh is that, that a counter counter attack? attack. That was a counter attack. That better kill him. Oh. oh wait, fire! I can't use fire on him. Yeah, you regular attack. Can we agree that shadow is the worst uh, damage type in this game? What? Shadow is good. Shadow doesn't have any. Like, shadow is all three combined. It doesn't really have any standout pros or cons. Oh no. Robo as a magic user was just always really cruddy to me. Aside from healing. I would never use him offensively for magic, aside from like his physical attacks like Uzi Punch. Uh, Shock is actually technically the strongest magic attack in the game. Really? It has much higher scaling than Luminaire, but since Robo has lower magic than Chrono, it doesn't do much da more damage. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, Magus has all kinds of magic, so, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. and, Although, uh, to be fair, I love, I, and I know, like, pretty much nobody else uses it, but my absolute favorite tech in this entire game is Black Hole. Really? My favorite is Boogie. <laughs> what's the, what's the, what, I like the Frog Splash or whatever. 
I have Frog Splash. Oh, Frog Splash is not the one that uh, it deals damage based on how low your HP is. Yeah, so you get keep Frog at a uh, one HP at all times. I, I just I absolutely hate doing that in games. I hate keeping myself like right on the the brink. Well, of if it death. makes you feel better. It's pretty risky because literally any attack will kill him. Mm -hmm. And then he's not guaranteed to come back to life with one. Is it? Can he get like a range flash? Oh, hold on. Here's our uh, here's our friend Toma. Oh yeah, I forgot. He does things. Okay, now that that old man there is that his hair or his giant skull? That's his hair. He's got a pompadour. <laughs> he's, he's wearing a hat. I always thought it was like a gigantic, like super big brained dude. Okay, does this, is Tomo yeah. wearing a bandana or does he not know how to wear a scarf? <laughs> <laughs> he just his scarf was just way too big. He thought his bandana was a, her, he thought his scarf was a bandana. He just doesn't get why it's so big. Check out yeah. that chick's hair. Mm. Alright, now what were you saying, Andrew? She's got a super loose ponytail. I like it. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. I like him super oh, well. loose. <laughs> don't be gross, man. <laughs> you just said boner. Wait, Are... did I say boner? I don't know. You, you just said boner. Okay, Chad, did I say boner? Because I don't remember saying boner. <laughs> Except for, you know, said it under your breath. I might have drowned it out with my obnoxious voice. Yeah. I feel like you just thought I said boner because you were expecting me to say boner. Oh, here's the... So, um, they're tone deaf, evil yep. fiends. Uh, that seems it's a, mean. It's a reference to uh, Ozzy, Flea, and Slash being musical references. Tone deaf, evil fiends. Like, do you think uh, the translator, what was his name? Ed, okay, Ted Oz Woolsey. Uh, Ozzy is pretty tone deaf. <laughs> yeah, Ted Woolsey did do that on purpose. He changed their names and added stuff yeah. in like that. They were like, uh, like... Vinegar, mustard, yeah. and else? And there, no, there are vinegar, mayonnaise, and soy sauce. Oh, there you go, yeah. Yeah, oh. Oh, that is so weird. Although that works so much better with uh, Chrono Sultan. Cross in terms Sultan. of the translation because the whole vinegar, yeah. mayonnaise, soy sauce thing, and then salt and pepper and yeah. ketchup. <laughs> and here, uh, like we s here we can see Toma and spending all the money that old man gave him on alcohol. Yeah, he's a terrible adventurer. Hey, he wants us to pay the tab. Yeah. You have... Uh, uh, so well, yeah, so then what's the money going to? He's not even stealing the money. He's stealing our money, too. He yeah. probably already wasted all of uh, it. He's, he's telling us about some creepy asshole that's hiding in a hole in the southern woods. By the way, Mac. Oh, yeah. That's what uh, Tom was good for. He's like the game's hint system. Yeah, he's pretty much the hint system. He, tells, he gave us some foreshadowing about the rainbow shell. By the way, Which Mac, is weird. Mac. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Nikon 9 in the chat says, I don't remember you saying boner. I heard Mac say it. Yeah, I, I read what he posted and I, I intentionally ignored it. Thank you very much. Well, the chat's not available in the stream later, so I've got to well, read. You know what? You're not available in the stream. you got to read it if you want it to be relevant. All right, and hey, here's... Yeah, it's surprising that they actually uh, they foreshadowed the Rainbow Shell this early. I didn't realize yeah, they did. Yeah, it's like so super and yeah. Here's uh, the whole point of getting the Naga at Bromide earlier on. Uh, I believe it's called uh, Bromide. I believe, yep. I believe. All right, I think we have to talk. Hit this. This button. isn't the guy. It's locked. Oh, it is the guy. Yeah, it is the guy. And there, you have to. Yeah, you have to activate the chest, and then talk, he'll say. <laughs> I don't want this old geezer's loot. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not nice. Uh. Yeah, and then he goes and fishes it out. You're not even gonna hand it to us, you creep. No, so what I an don't touch, we don't touch its gross hand. Anymore. Yeah, magic so tab. We, we've uh, determined that the bromide is porn, right? Yes, it is. It's a picture of the snake ladies. I definitely did not get that when I was a kid. Mm, you know, maybe it was too subtle. <laughs> uh. <laughs> don't tell Granny. Oh my God. <laughs> my very own Naga at pet. <laughs> maybe this wasn't as subtle as I thought. Nope, not well, subtle thought, at all. You have to, like, check that dresser to activate it, don't you? Yes, you do. Jeez, so, this is like I, Peach's question mark, question mark, question mark. It's Super Mario RPG. Only it's a little bit more involved because, you, I mean, you have two two things that you have to know to just yeah. random check. Yeah. It's Fiona's villa. Fiona's the uh, resident eco person here. Eco terrorist. Hippie, I mean. Eco hippie. Eco terrorist. But she doesn't terrorize anything. It's all Final Fantasy VII, where everyone's terrorists. 
Yeah, and where everybody's an asshole. Yeah. I don't like that game. Super overrated. Don't worry if you Also, do. I've noticed that uh, when, when you and Ryan were talking about uh, Ocarina of Time in the last stream, you didn't bring me up. <laughs> I'm like the most you vocal. You my lamp! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the like the most vocal of us in terms of not liking Ocarina of Time. Well, I know, but I didn't want to get into a really? long discussion about it. Uh, <laughs> I like Ocarina of Time, I just like Majora's Mask better. I never played Majora's, Majora's Mask. Mask. Beautiful. I didn't like the gameplay of Ocarina of Time, it had nothing to do with the setting. I think you should check out Majora's Mask. It's available on the Wii Virtual Console. Definitely don't play the GameCube uh, Anniversary Collection because that one was glitched as hell and often crashed. Oh, when... did it? Oh, all the time. I actually have that and version. And in the worst ways. Why is that guy chewing up the frogs? Because he did damage and he'll attack them to get his HP back. Does that rob you of experience? or? No, it doesn't. He just, he just helps you out, really. Yeah, he only does four damage, apparently. Yeah. I haven't even bothered healing from the Zombor fight. Yeah. Well, wait, is this the one where you stay the night at Frogs, or no? Mm, this one, I think you just talk to Frog, and he cries a little bit. <laughs> oh, have you ever gotten the mop? Yes, I use, I've used the mop. The mop is cool. Magic you're Scarf. Gonna get, you're gonna have to get it. Alright, we've stolen the Magic Scarf. And now we get to hear Frog talk. Alright, oh, he's, you're done? That's it. Can't open it. Uh, I can't open it. He's got to give it to us. X gonna give it to you. <laughs> he gonna give it to you. <laughs> it's just nary a thing I can do. Please be on thy way. Oh, sad music. Here Tis... comes Emo Frog. <laughs> the hero I am not. Tis nary a thing. Oh, that was I lame. Can... Look at that. The hero, the hero I'm I... not. I can do not. <laughs> what are you, Yoda? I feel like you're, he's being intentionally vague and hard to understand there. Like, we have the benefit of the text. If he said that out loud, I'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> oh. Language. Why did you... Speak English. Oh, I dodged some snakes. You... Why did you use both versions of not, you idiot? <laughs> I know, he's an idiot. There's an area thing I can't do. Frog's a moron, that's why. Frog is a moron. A moran. And that little girl wants to marry Tata. Uh, Ta Ta I should have bought some jerky. Tata, Tata for now. T T F. Tata. I'm pretty sure it's Tata. I say Tata. Oh, I always said Tata. I don't know. How about you, Andy? <laughs> Andy well, Rooney. I, I never, I don't remember that character at all. <laughs> he, he's hardly a character. He's a punchline. Yeah. Everyone's this all. This is the joke that they're setting up. Hey, look, there's Toboggan from the past. Yep. Oh, we should check out his man boobs. I'm sorry, lady boobs. I don't know, will he turn and talk to us? Show us your lady boobs. Oh, he, talk, he turns for a second. He saw oh. them lady boobs, right? Those are lady boobs! He's not gonna turn again. You gotta uh, wait to come back. Screw it. I don't, I don't care about talking to him that much. Are we going off to Denodoro? Oh, how, tell me, how'd you get down here so fast? We got a black screen flight. Oh, it's back now. Okay. Denodoradio? Oh, that was a good so, sneeze right there. I remember to mute myself. Can we myself. agree that, that Toma died from alcoholism? He died from alcohol poisoning. <laughs> it definitely oh, wasn't me from a, hunting uh, the rainbow shell. Well, technically it's soda poisoning. <laughs> oh, you tracked it down this fast? <laughs> I, I, yeah, that, that is just a bad, uh, bad case of censorship there. Bad yeah. baby jamma. They're clearly in a bar, right? Mm-hmm. The gaggle of ghouls. Alright, I think we've talked to everyone we need to to get Tata to appear. Clutch I think you only need to talk to his dad. Yeah, I do want to sleep right now. Okay, later. Alright, peace. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I like how uh, everyone has actual sleep animations. <laughs> Like, Luca takes off her hat and Marl's hair gets messed up. Yeah, that is actually kind of cool. I never ever used the inns. I always healed with shelters and stuff. 
It's uh, interesting to me. It's a nice little touch they did. Like, Robo actually doesn't sleep in a bed. He sits down in a corner. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. What, that's what I liked about Final Fantasy IX. Whenever you uh, rested at a save point, they actually had, like, a like a model of a tent that would show up, like, in the map. Yeah, oh, that's actually neat. And here we get to see Tata. Tata. Is, did he have purple hair? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, I guess man. Luca's got... Thank you. <laughs> FF9 was great. I only played through it once, but I, 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 I'm actually itching to play through it again now. Uh, yeah. Uh, man, an HD remake of that game would be amazing. It's one of the few like RPGs, especially where I played pretty much every character equally. Yeah. Like yeah, most of them, I... I'll get to a point. I'll pick the three that I like most, or however many numbers I have, and then I'll stick with them for the whole game. But that one is just like I kept wanting to change it up, and I kept you wanting mean... to try new characters, you, you and mean... I was forced to. Well, the, the I think the the best combo, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe was Steiner, Zidane, oh, and Steiner, yeah. and uh, Vivi. Wasn't it four in that game? But yeah, Steiner and yeah, Vivi. Yeah, I guess the, the fourth would probably be one of the summoners, Dagger or uh, Iko. Iko? Iko? I I'd say Iko. I'd say Iko. Yeah, I usually went with uh, Iko. She had uh, the cooler ones. I thought. Actually, no, I didn't. No, that's not true. Uh, I I used um, what was what was its name? Quina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Don't Quina. don't. Quina, the Quina? Min, I think, yeah, it was the, 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 the Q. That was their species, the Q, right? Yeah, and don't laugh, Quina had awesome attacks. Like, the, all the blue magic and stuff, you could learn so much, like, overpowered shit early on. I know, yeah. I, I'm not laughing, I'm laughing at the character, not at your choice. Oh. It's laughing at your choice. Don't let him talk oh. to you that way, Mag. Oh. But yeah, Quina was cool, Steiner was, and uh, the combo with him and Vivi was unstoppable. They were all cool characters, except for, like, Amarant. And he grew on me. I understood at least his place in the team. He was just the boring, like... Well, he was the realist. I, like, at first he was kind of annoying because he was naggy, but then there's, like, a couple scenes towards the end where the whole group is just like, oh, we're all mopey or whatever, and Amarant's like, you guys are <laughs> douchebags. And then they, he, like, snaps them out of it. And that's his role, to be a hard ass. I just thought he was underdeveloped compared to the other characters. Definitely, yeah. He was the last like, one to join, isn't he? Yes, he was. And he joined in, like, this three, so he barely had any time to have any character development. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know, who was your favorite character overall, would you say? Uh, other than Beatrix. Who <laughs> was the best. Beatrix and had the was best awesome. theme song. I really liked all of the Alexandria, or Alexandra Knights. Like, all of them, like the female characters and the male characters are all interesting, I thought. I, I, I pretty much liked... Like, they're like, all, like there was no character that I disliked. They were all like super loyal to each other, they were all like good friends, basically, I don't know. And that's why I like the, uh, the, what was the, 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 <laughs> the, the other guys? I don't even know what, what game you're talking about. Zidane's Gar uh, friends. Oh, you're talking about Final Fantasy X? The oh, troop? the, uh, the, the troop. Yeah, what was their name? They had a name. The, um, Go... Uh, <laughs> oh, son of... <laughs> the hell was their name? Something Players, maybe? Uh, the, 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 uh... Crap, I'm gonna have to look this up. FF9, Zidane's troop. What do you have to say the about... Thieves? Uh, you guys talking about Final Fantasy some, something or other? Tantalus! Tantalus. Sure. They were cool too, like Blank and, and the other guys. I forget their names. You, did you read about that uh, that hidden side quest that nobody found for like 15 yes. years? Yes. It's crazy. Oh, and you guys might have noticed that I'm using a uh, flame attack on the guys with hammers. Yeah, because it makes. Oh them yeah. Throw it makes the hammer. It makes them throw away the hammer. Otherwise, they have crazy high defense and attack. There's a challenge run. No, no using fire on these guys. <laughs> no magic run. Well I, well, I actually did a really awesome challenge. Uh, I, I mentioned it last time, but uh, yeah. So I did the uh, no items, no money, no chrono after Ocean Palace, and no lifeline triple tech run through. Hmm. And that was near impossible. 
Did I miss uh, this? Because uh, Lifeline is the one that like it automatically casts Life 3 on all your characters, so it's like... It's instrumental to every challenge run uh, that I've ever seen people do on this this game. Yeah, um, you gotta challenge yourself if you've already beaten the game like ten times. Now, Fletch yeah. is not because he's just showing things off. Mm -hmm. but... and, and that would take forever, especially with yeah. all the failings. Uh, but like when I when I finally beat it, the the final battle was ridiculous because I was at low levels because I couldn't face most threats. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, and I couldn't use any items, so if any character fell in battle, the only thing I could do was revive them using, like, Marl's life, or mm -hmm. life 2, or whatever she used. Um, and I couldn't spend any money to buy items, so I had, like, all only gear that you could find and shit like that. And, um... So it, it's the final fight, and I, I could make it through, like, the first form easy enough every time. But then after that, I would only have, like, enough time to make it through, like, a couple rounds of the final, final boss. And at one point, I had, I, like, I paused the game, and I had one character standing, and I only had enough time to either get off one attack or revive one other person. <laughs> and I was just, like, sitting there, and I'm like, okay, let me think this through. And in my head, I did the math for all the damage that I had done against the boss so far, and calculated, like, his total HP, and was like, I think I could kill him if I get, like, a critical hit or something. And so I went for the attack, and it, it actually worked, and it, like, killed him. Nice. And it was the middle of the night, it's like 4 a.m., and I was living with a bunch of my best friends, and I actually like was so excited that I was like, YES! <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I didn't wake anybody. I actually did something like that for Skies of Arcadia. I did like a super power through of the game. Because I hadn't played it in, I think, I think I played it a quarter of the way through the game, and I didn't touch it for years. And then I just decided I was going to start playing again, I just never put it down. And over the next like 15 hours, I just beat the game. By the way, does that little dude there have a little dick? Oh uh, no, that's just What is it with button. you staring at monster dicks? I'm not! It's just there! Uh, you can see when he stands up that it's not there. It's like a belly button or something. I think it's his tail from the other side. Probably. From the it, other side? Probably is. He's probably sitting on his tail. Jeez, Drew, you're all dicks and boners. Uh, and I know. Everything. It's like, uh, what's yeah, on your you mind? You said boner! I didn't you say said boner! boner. We're going to rewatch the stream and I'm going to point out when I you know. said boner. Just... Yeah, yeah, we need a boner watch. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a boner counter when this goes up on YouTube. <laughs> it, it's just three all the way through this entire playthrough. They're all from Mac. We all, we don't have the same <laughs> we all, all three of us just have a constant boner. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That could be the name of our show. Yep. The three boners. Three, the three boners. Yes. Uh, Skies of Arcadia was one that I never gave enough time to. I actually own a Dreamcast, which I got for free, and I've, I haven't played it for more than an hour, because I, I put on, like, Skies of Arcadia, yeah. and it was so, so tedious at the start, because there was it something really wrong is. with the encounter rate. Of yeah, that like, at the beginning of the game, it is very tedious. I think that's why I stopped playing initially. Yeah, like, it's like you're in, like, a short corridor, and in that one corridor where there's nothing there, it's just four walls and a couple doors, you'll get yeah. in, like, 20 fights just walking across it, and it's like, oh my god, I'm already yeah. sick of this game. And I, I hear that the GameCube version's better. It is, it's a lot better. Like, I, I played it on the GameCube, and it was still somewhat tedious. Mm. Well, then, then I'll probably pick that up, but then now I, now I need to find a, an excuse to actually do anything with my Dreamcast, because I've done nothing with it. Oh, uh, you could uh, throw it away. But I got it for free, and it's like, I don't know, isn't it rare or some shit now? I don't know, I don't think so. Well, they didn't sell many, so they can't, there can't be I too mean, many out there. Well, the game store near my house, there's like a pile of ten of them, so it can't be too rare. Good point. Well, rare enough that I don't want to ever have to buy one. Yeah. I mean, too bad they don't have any games for it. It's like owning a Virtual Boy. <laughs> yeah, and definitely don't want to play it. Yeah, you just kind of have it there. So, so you can say, hey look, I have this. Yep. Basically, it's the equivalent of an old woman with ceramic dolls. Just for that's people. That's what Virtual Boy is? That's like a Dreamcast and a Virtual Boy. It's, that's our ceramic dolls. We just set them on a shelf and never touch it. And yeah. Actually, yeah, that is absolutely accurate for me in my Dreamcast. But, I mean, theoretically, you could. Well, theoretically, an old woman could touch her ceramic dolls. <laughs> but she won't. won't. But she won't. What would she do with them? Just touch them? Just touch them. Just, Just run her fingers up and down them? I mean, that's kind of yep. weird. 
Yep. Well, old women are weird. Old women are weird. I mean, bitch is crazy enough. Just wait till the age sets in. I, that's that's the lesson that everybody's gonna be learning. Yep. Touch poor screen. <laughs> don't eat, no, I thought it was don't touch poor screen dolls. <laughs> now I don't understand how that hits the one on the right, but not the one on the left. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. I love these little ninja birds, though. Yeah, the crows. Bushido crows. Bushi crows. Yeah. <laughs> Freelancers. Uh, we, we lost our other viewer. <laughs> oh no. That's fair. That's all the dick talk. He's probably just uh, re-watching the recorded part of the stream so he yeah. can see if uh, Drew said boner. Yeah. Now, one of these you want to fall off of. Oh, I, 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 I could never remember which one it was. Oh, uh, I think it's the one on the right. No, I'm wrong. Uh... Oh, I, picked, I chose correctly. You chose correctly. Got the silver stud. Chose poorly. Whoa! All oh, right, you just fall off that side. We're leaping, We're leaping lizards. Got the Jumping silver stud. Jehoshaphat. And, and the a silver, silver earring. earning. The silver urn. Now we can fall again. I think there's another item, but it's not that great. I think it's like an either or Whoa. an elixir or something. I, I actually want to see what it is. I want to see if your memory's as good as you think it is. Well, it looks like it. You can't find out. <laughs> Don't be a jerk. Well, I you actually can't. Go. I could go back there. Oh. It's a one-way entrance. So I guess I can fall down, but uh, we have to fight these guys every single time. Well, Fletch, put your money where your mouth is. What are you, you going to say? Where my money is. <laughs> put your put mouth your... Where, your, where your money is. I don't want to. I'm saying don't. Don't write checks that you're you're. <laughs> what what are you? You're not even making I sense right now. I have never right seen now. Top Gun. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there. I've never seen it. I will. I'm gonna laugh the whole while. Top Gun's not that funny. That's funny in retros. Why? I I hear that it's superbly 80s. Yeah, it's so definitely yeah. 80s. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just like a blast from the past. Like, kids yeah. these days, they don't know what the 80s were even like peripherally. Yeah, like, tell you what, if someone on the stream wants me to jump down the waterfalls, I will. Oh, wait, no one's watching. <laughs> he wins this round, Drew. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's nothing else down there anyway. No, it's you just crap. It's like an elixir or some shit. It's nothing important. We I'm got... an elixir horde, so I never spend my elixirs anyway. I was, I also did that with Mega Elixirs. Yeah, oh, Mega Elixirs? They're like, they're the Holy Grail. I, yeah. I never spent Mega Elixirs. They're like black gold. Yeah, I will use Mega Elixirs on the last fight because when you do New Game Plus, it, none of the uh, items you use get recorded, so you start it with all the items from the save point. Oh, that's brilliant, actually. I didn't know that. Good, good catch, Fletch. Yep. Catch I always flash. found it weird where like certain uh, bosses in games, like especially final bosses, will have really awesome weapons on them that you can steal. Like I think Final Fantasy VIII <laughs> had that. Like, couldn't you get like a, a super powerful sword from uh, Ultimisi or whatever? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know what game you're talking about. Final Fantasy VIII. I just always thought like, who the uh, hell is going to think to play that. steal during the fight and then I steal from every your boss yeah. until it's impossible to steal anymore. Oh yeah, that's, that's what you're supposed to do. Like, especially in Chrono Trigger, you steal from everybody. Yeah, everybody. Like, oh, uh, man, and with this little guy, you talk to him a bunch of times, and eventually he'll tell you that you're nosy, and to take this and go away. Mountains Mac, tonight. Mac, did I ever tell you about that disastrous Chrono Cross run that I had? No. Where I went through, like, the whole game, or the whole disc one anyway, in like one sitting. And I was doing awesome. I'm like, I was successfully oh, stealing, successfully stole the the you know the elemental plates from every dragon on the first try. Yeah. I never had to start. And I had like an awesome day. I'm like, oh man, I can't wait to play this tomorrow. Then I uh, booted <laughs> up, and for some reason, every single save I did the day before didn't record, so it was back to the start. <laughs> and I never mm -hmm. played Chrono Cross again. <laughs> That's a shame. It's a good game. It wasn't even the first time I played it, at least. So it's not like I, I still got to see everything that I wanted to. 
Man, Chrono Cross. I know dumb fans. No offense to people who like who don't like it. I hate I know Chrono dumb Cross. fans harp on that game for not being Chrono Trigger 2. But shit, did that game do like almost everything right? Yeah. The only thing uh, I would have liked more is uh, more personalized dialogue for every character. They just instead of the like, accents. Yeah. But that that Oi. might be asking for it. Oi, I'm kid. Oh yeah, kid like was just Australian. With, with a, a g generic southern accent, me blokes. I I liked uh, the mermaid. What was her name? Uh, Irina. Because she added umlauts to everything. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she supposed to be German or something. I don't understand. Uh, well, you mean your favorite wasn't Korcha? Who, who added cha to the end of every word? Oh yeah. Can you record like his record? Oh, not record. Like uh, recruit his mom too. Yeah, which was weird. Can you? Yeah. It does sound weird. I, like, I really just liked that you could uh, recruit the guy that was the Magus ripoff. <laughs> Guile. Or Guile. Either. Yeah, He's and the secondary Magus ripoff. Yeah, but you could also recruit Ayla. Like just a baby version of Ayla. Yeah, mi mini Ayla. Yeah, she was so cool. I actually ran with uh, the main character dude, Ayla, and uh, Surge. You mean? Or yeah, Ayla and Surge, and Surge. Uh, that's a cool name. And Guile. I always liked uh, using the alien. <laughs> Pip? <laughs> was no, that his name? Wait, was it Pip? I think it was Pip. It was. I don't remember his name, but I liked Pip him. I liked. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say the stupid dog. <laughs> <laughs> Mojo. I like the Tiki Man Mojo, yes. Uh, I liked Skelly. Skelly was cool. <laughs> That's oh man, he had the coolest like uh, like profile icon. I thought. Mm -hmm. See what annoyed me in that game is that like the whole duality system for the uh, the magic, where like the opposite colors and whatnot. Yeah. You're always gonna have Surge in your party, so you already got white covered. You're not ne never gonna have another white character in your party, which I know is the weirdest thing to say out loud, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> given the state of gaming today and all this shit going on online. But anyway, uh, yeah, so you're never gonna have any other white characters in your party. But there were so many cool white characters. Like yeah. I, I always wanted to use Riddell and, uh, and and like you said, Pip. Yep. I think he was white in and eight. So as well. everyone knows they're talking about. You know, not their race. They're talking about their their <laughs> magical style. They, every character yeah. had a white characters affinity. are the best. <laughs> <laughs> they had an elemental affinity. It was character. associated with a color, not an element. Right. That's it. Anyway, back to how the whites were great. You're right. They they were actually just all colors. They weren't actually explicitly elements. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we could fall down the waterfall again. No. Nope. Do it. Oh, I want to uh, make sure I heal. Uh, I, I, well, I, I loved using Carl when you had her because she was hardcore. Oh yeah, I like Carl. She and awesome. she spoke French. She spoke French. Uh, it was the only accent that I was okay with. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I liked Carl just because she reminded me of Harley Quinn. Well, oh yeah. yeah. Come on. She was supposed to. Well, not really. She's supposed but... to be a Harley Quinn. She's like um, one of my favorite character designs of all time, too. If, if I was going to get definitely. a character from a game, she would be in the top running. Like, tattooed, I mean. Oh, mm -hmm. I still want to get a, a Gabronth action figure from Final Fantasy XII, but I'll get around to that. Um, I, I mostly rolled with a party of dudes that use swords, uh, aside from Surge. So I'd be like Sor uh, Surge, um, what, what's his name, the Glenn, and then either Fargo or Viper. Fargo Usually Fargo, because he could steal. Yeah, he could steal, exactly. You want to steal it with you at all times, because there's so many one-off items that you yeah. have to steal. You just can't be without a stealer. It's either Kid or Fargo. And traps. Traps are cool. Yeah. I like Fargo's like. Didn't he have like a, 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 a skill that like shot cannons from his boat? Yeah, that was the best. Uh, and and of course, like I still see it listed in in like topics online all the time. But like hardest boss fights and like most frustrating game moments. But. Can we talk about Miguel? <laughs> yeah. I, I know this feels like it's like a support group for victims of the Miguel fight, but Jesus, is that a, such a hard boss? That's fight. what you need the elemental plates for, because you can't.
can't. It's just impossible otherwise. It's not impossible. It's just really hard. Well, it's you can't. Like, you don't have the elemental plates by then, do you? Yeah, you can have the. I think you can have the one that you need. Maybe it's only on a new game plus I'm thinking of. Probably. I don't think you can have it up to that point. But he's just but yeah. unrelenting. Well, it's just. You know, you're you're playing as Lynx, so you're black innate to Miguel's super strong white. Okay, oh, yeah. again, not racist. Um, and you've got Harl in your party, and she's pretty much the uh, the best character in your party, so you're gonna have her in there. So you're you automatically have two blacks against one white, which. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> uh... Let me choose my words carefully. What I'm saying is that the white you... power is stronger than <laughs> your combined black power. What if you added a little bit of yellow to that, Mac? <laughs> and so Miguel always ends up kicking your ass. Especially when he uses that, like, white dragon sword or whatever. Holy dragon sword, that's what it was called. I'm not a racist. Yeah, you are. Let's talk about Massa and Noob. Alright, these two little guys just combined and became a pro wrestler. Or yeah. boxer, I mean. Actually, looks like a boxer. He's taking a boxing stance for some reason. And you may have gotten this hint earlier in the game, but someone should have told you that slashes will dissipate stored energy. I never got that, too. Like, it, it took a lot of times through this fight before I actually realized it. I'm usually over level when I play the game, so much of the uh, strategy is lost on me. Since these guys are doing so much damage, I'm just gonna have Chrono heal himself. Oh, no, I think I might do an Aura Whirl, depending on how much this does. Enough. Uh, uh, eh, she can take another, she can survive another one, yeah. She can take another hit. Chrono, just heal yourself. Medtonic, and then... Oh. Oh, is he, uh, is he storing energy? energy. Uh, I should have Chrono back up before he releases it. I do like how his power stance has him like standing with his mouth open, just like, oh! Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the most hilarious face drawing ever. Tornado energy has been you... neutralized. And then when you hit him, you just like, hey, what was that? He's like, oh man. Wouldn't oh this guy God. look like a really racist character if his skin tone was just like a few hues browner? Well, that's just oh how the Akira... Yeah. That's just... the lips. <laughs> really, that's just how Akira Toriyama draws. I know, he does that all the time, but it's very unfortunate. Especially like Mr. Popo. Yeah. Come on, dude. Come on. Yeah. But... <laughs> More like Mr. Uh, better not get caught by the Popo, am I right? Oh. Oh, that's Oh, sad. You, you slay me. Uh, I think uh, we need to heal. Not looking too good. Yeah. Now there's more. Now you heal. Yeah. Anyway, back to Chrono Cross and how much it's awesome. And how much it's okay. The music is to die for. The music is directly ripped from Chrono Trigger. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It is. Uh, are you the insane? Unique Unique blend of Celtic and uh, Icelandic. The battle uh, theme is directly things. ripped off. Ab what? Ripped off from what? From the Chrono Trigger battle theme. They're identical. They're not even kind of close. I'm pretty sure they're the same thing. I'm pretty sure you need to give that soundtrack a re listen. Also. Fantastic soundtrack. The, the it's level up in music, my top maybe, five. Maybe that's what you're thinking of. Let's level up music. Maybe I am. Yeah, yeah. That's Lucas theme, isn't it? Yeah, that's what they used to the level up. Or yeah, the post battle music is Lucas theme. That's oh yeah, not you're the right. Only track that's. No, uh, he got his attack off. And uh. Oh, and I guess they use Chrono's theme for the overworld. Yeah, top five soundtrack for me. Definitely in, like my top five of all of gaming. Gorgeous. It's a uh, very nice. Okay, that was very nice. nice. Oh man, don't hit her. Uh, you know this was going a lot better when you weren't sucking. Yeah, I know. I'll let him get a little too low. 
I thought I could hit him. I was about to say, she's oh dead. Oh my god. Mac, we've got a, a viewer commenting. Yeah. Why? Hey, hey. Chrono Trigger's awesome. Chrono Cross is better than okay. How dare you have your own opinion about Chrono Cross? Okay, wait, no, that's not right. But yeah, the soundtrack's awesome. Yep. I love uh, uh, another home world. Or another world. Oh, God, it's a beautiful track. Where is God? Uh, yeah, another world, not another home world. Home world would be home world, and then another world would be another world. You know, another home world. Shut up. Anyway, yeah. Aside from the soundtrack, though, like a lot of oh, the gameplay things that it did, uh, a lot of the, the the gameplay things that it did, I really appreciated. And I do like the expensive cast, if only because it gives so much variety to the new game pluses that is kind of lost in Chrono Trigger. Like, when you play New Game Plus in Chrono Trigger, you're just kind of playing it again, and it's like, okay, whatever. Yeah, pretty much. You're overpowered now, you just roll over everything. Well, you get that's the, your only chance to really get most of the alternate endings, is in New Game yeah, Plus. Yeah, the, the alternate endings are, are the uh, the draw of the New Game Plus, and that's that's, that's cool enough. That's but, more than like, a lot really, of New Game Plus games give you. Uh, I don't know, how many New Game Plus games are there? I, I can't really think of that many. Tales of uh, Symphonia. They're generally Can we be real RPGs. Here? I wish that every yeah. game, like especially every RPG, had a new game plus system like Tales of Symphonia, and yeah. I guess the rest of the Tales games. Uh, were basically, as have you have you played Symphonia? George? Yeah. Oh yeah. Nope. Symphonia Tales games are great. They're my favorite RPG series. Oh, I love them. Well, like how the the level or the new game plus system works in those games is that throughout the game you earn a currency called grade. Oh which, yeah, uh, it's based on your battle performance and like other uh, factors along the way. Uh, yep. And then when you beat the game, you have a total grade that you can then spend to buy stuff for your new game plus. So you can like choose to carry over your items or carry over your magic or carry over your um, usually not equipment, but like other bonuses like get double XP or um, you know change the battle mechanics slightly and stuff like that. So, you know, the first time you beat the game, you'll only have a little bit of grade, so you can only unlock, like, a couple things. But then if you beat the game again, all your grade from the first run carries over to your second oh, run. Oh, yeah. So That's by cool. the time that you've, like, played through the game four times, you can unlock everything. Um, and just, it yeah. adds so much replayability, it adds so much challenge value, you can play through the game with different party combinations. Mm -hmm. uh, just, it's terrific. Oh yeah, it's actually pretty good for a new game plus. But actually, Shovel Knight has a new game plus. But it's just, it felt me. It's really lacking. There's not a whole lot more you can do in Shovel Knight once you beat the game. Like there's not new content. There's nothing you really do with your new stuff. Yeah, the challenges really carry that game. And apparently, the new game plus, like the the mode or whatever, actually is diff more difficult than the first version of the game. Yeah. I hardly even noticed. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't noticed the difficulty difference. I mean, it's a, it's a tough enough game, but I guess I'm so used to the, the Mega Man style level design and, and boss encounters and yeah. stuff like that, that I didn't have too much trouble getting through it. Like, the first time I beat the game, I had under 20 deaths. Uh, and almost all of them were in the same level. Uh, Propeller Knight stage, fuck that guy. But, um, yeah, apparently, like, in New Game Plus, the enemies do more damage, and there isn't as much health-restoring items, uh, but I, I barely felt it. Yeah. You were also a lot better going through, so... Yeah. So the difficulty is kind of mediated. Yeah, because you, know, cool you know what to expect. Well, that's another cool thing about the Tales games, is that the, uh, the difficulty is mutable on a whim. You could be, like, halfway through the game, and you could change the difficulty from normal to easy for the next fight. Um, mm. And, you know, just switch it back when you're done with that. Or you could be like, shit, I want to play the game on hard mode now and just ramp up the difficulty just like that. So it's there's a lot of freedom in that that I wish more games did. Yeah. Yeah, you really don't have a whole lot of games that get more difficult. I mean, yeah, there's, but not RPG-wise. Most of the time it's, you know, action games like Contra where they have, and platformers where they have difficulty levels. Mm-hmm. You don't see that often in RPGs. Yeah, Second Dog Samurai was saying that uh, Shovel Knight's, I'm assuming, is badass. Better be. Uh, and they should be making DLC soon. I, I, I did hear something about uh, that. I would hope so. 
I'm sure they're gonna make a sequel. I mean, it was so successful. Like, yeah, it was getting like game of the year stuff. Like, it's it crazy like, fun. First week of release. Like, it's funny and fun. I don't know. It's just it is a a definitively retro game with yeah. retro sensibilities. And as someone uh, that loves puns, I just love that game. I don't know. I, I, I do feel... you know. How do you know the developers aren't gonna do like a Jonathan Blow and just make something completely new next? Maybe they've already got that formula locked down and they want something else. Well, they, they probably don't want to make Maybe. a Shovel Knight 2, but DLC's not out of the question. No, DLC's not out of the question. That, I'm, I'm more okay with that than... Yeah. Shovel Knight 2? I mean, there's, there's, it's, it's viable for, for sure, but I don't know if that's the direction that it'll go into. Um, I wouldn't mind it. I definitely enjoyed Shovel Knight. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it's... it's it's like a game with no bullshit, you know, like, that, that's, it, it takes all the good stuff about the retro stuff, it doesn't have, like, extra, extraneous stuff, um, it doesn't feel panderous, it, and it's got so much charm and uniqueness to it while still being this, like, homage to, to old-fashioned gameplay. Mm -hmm. um, and we probably should start talking about Chrono Trigger at some point during this. How dare you, Flash? We're, we're doing a lot of uh, story stuff, <laughs> <laughs> and we're just blow, blasting through. Like, we just met Frog, and he's like being a crybaby, and doesn't want to do anything. Oh, did you get the sword? I and we got the sword that says <laughs> it says has Melkor written on it. Uh, okay. Well, maybe so, if there's some, something important story going on, you're the guy directing this whole thing. Maybe you should say, say Melkor. Yeah. I said Melkor. Yeah, it, it, I'm pretty sure we agreed it's pronounced Melchwar. Melchwar. No one's <laughs> no one in the. <laughs> No one in the world has ever said that. <laughs> Melchwar, Balthazar. Gaspar. 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 Alright, we're gonna go pay Melkor a visit. Yeah, the, the Twa wise men. Oh yeah, you gotta go talk to Mel Melchwar. Yep. I completely forgot about that. And soon we're gonna go uh, meet the apparently most powerful party member of the game? Yes. Well, technically Robo is the most powerful party member, but I was pretty good. Yeah, under conditions. Yeah. Right. Under conditions. But I was definitely, or Ayla is definitely really powerful, especially when you get her above a certain level. Oh, well, okay. Have you ever gotten like the characters up to level 99 in this yeah, game? Yeah, I have. Damn. I'm pretty sure I unlocked like all of the endings and played through the game dozens and dozens of times and never got Ayla up to see what is it, the bronze fist? Yeah, and it's the, the bronze fist. It's the or no the fist? bronze fist is the highest level fist. Oh is it? I thought yeah. there was an iron fist. No nope. well there was an iron fist below that, I think. That doesn't make any sense. But it, I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but bronze fist is Isla's highest level weapon. Because Isla doesn't actually get weapons. She levels yeah. up and her fist levels up with her. And uh, I think it's at level 96 that she gets the Bronze Fist. Yeah, so it's Bronze Fist at level 96, and then at 99 it turns into something else. Uh, nope. It's just Bronze Fist. You sure? Yep, absolutely. I feel like at 99 it... Nope. 100% certain. 100%? Oh, I'm about yeah. to Google your ass. And critical hit chance uh, is fairly low, but it always hits for 9999. Damn it, he, he wins. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, n I never got her up to that high. Alright, and he, now he's telling you about uh, Redstone, and he's like, I have no, it hasn't existed for a very, very long time. And that's your hint to go way, way, way into the past. Yeah, which uh, by this point you could have already explored and just found yeah. nothing. You could have explored and you basically just fall into the ground and nothing happens. But now, when you go into the past, you fall down, and Isla just straight up humps your face. I mean, Ayla? Ayla, yeah. Oh, I love going into the past with the gals, especially Marl, because Marl gets all, like, jealous and shit. Oh, yeah. And Luca really doesn't get very jealous, even though she has more of a right to be jealous than Marl. You know, Luca ends up getting drunk. Yeah, Mar uh, Luca doesn't really care. She's, like, straight up friends. Huh? Uh, there's idiots screaming in the background. Did you guys yeah, hear that? Is, yes, what is it? Uh, they're being morons. Oh, this is a... <laughs> uh, can you, how, how much can you guys hear? All of it? All of it? That's good. 
<laughs> and Psychedelic Samurai can hear it too. Yep. Hilarious. Welcome. <laughs> uh, welcome to this. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad it's all showing up good. Got dark. Watch out, uh, I think you're about to, we're about to be swatted. If someone gets murdered, Flash, oh. you gotta stop streaming, okay? No, I don't. That's why I stream harder. That's why you, <laughs> you get the viewers. Call the police! <laughs> Do you remember that one time we were playing Left 4 Dead, and like, Ryan's like, hold on, I think I heard a gunshot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I hear gunshots outside of my house all the time. Ryan used to live in a very bad... <laughs> Just yeah, so you know, it, that's why it, it was. Made it possible. <laughs> well, my friend, uh, my friend lived in uh, a part of, uh, of of a town in some place, whatever. But he he lived like in what was known as the stabbing district. Oh really? But like he he lived just on the other side of it, and it's like literally a line of the street that the stabbing people don't cross. He was on the good side. He was perfectly safe because all the people were getting stabbed across the street. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's how we get the viewers. <laughs> With domestic <Yeah>. violence <laughs> in the background. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we laugh, but really, it's quite bad. Yeah, we laugh. Uh, much. I'm, I'm worried. Is he... Oh, it's not yelling at me. Yeah. I don't care. You know you can, you know you can tell me. Any, you know you can tell me anything, right? <laughs> I'm not the one getting yelled at. <laughs> Hit. Oh yeah, I got a gun near me, so I'm good. <laughs> I actually have a gun uh, right next to me. Don't hashtag shoot someone on stream. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag the south. I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah, See, I only I sleep with a machete next to my bed. Oh, I do that too. Here. You mean a Mac machete? Oh. Oh, got him. <laughs> oh my God, what's she doing to Chrono? Oh, look at her butt crack. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, just leave it on this uh, this little animation for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I, wish that, I wish that tail was connected to her butt. Ooh. Her tail's not Wait. connected to her butt. I know, you... I wish it was though. But she looks just like <laughs> like Agent or uh, Android 17. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. She looks uh, much more attractive. No, she looks like lunch. She does in the portrait. She looks like lunch more than anything. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. That's more lunch. Yeah, all of his yeah. characters look the same. Sorry, sorry Toriyama. I'm sorry, man. I yeah. love you. I love Lord you. knows that I like my women with uh, gigantic alien foreheads and pointy faces. Look, she's giving Luca the vapors. case the vapors. You gotta say it like that. Vapors. Yep, vapors. <laughs> I do like how Ayla does that thing where she like tosses her hair up. Yeah, yeah. man, the, the hair in this game, the sprite work on the hair is amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it really is. Like they have, I haven't seen it sprite work on hair like I mean, good in a long time. Is, is Goku. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Look at that hair go. Look at Marl's ponytail. Boy. Look at Ayla's tail tail. <laughs> Hair is hard to do in sprites, and this game gets it really right. Oh, we got the Berserker. I'm not going to use it, though. We can actually... Look. It will walk right through you if you don't touch them. What? Oh, I didn't know that. I always wondered that if you could get through yeah. that. If you're, that yeah, if you're not moving, they'll walk. The, a sprite will walk right through you. Oh, is I touched him. Is that always the case? Oh, you idiot. Uh, most of the time, yeah, that'll happen. But this is fine. Just uh, use uh, Lightning 2. Which I wish I win. had. Psychedelic Samurai is right, lunch is pretty damn hot, but I prefer dinner. <laughs> God, you're stupid. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, have I had dinner? Uh... Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's pretty late, you should have had dinner by now. Really? Really, Steve? Steve? Don't try and call Brian here. Oh man, Steve, that's racist. There's no need for that. Steve is of course scrapped Aeon. 
Let me, let me use your full yeah. name. Kill Walla. Kill Walla. Yep. Good old Kill Walla. Walla, Walla Bing Bang. I, yep. I remember. Uh, I remember when I was a kid. I, I always thought I was so like naughty that I was playing a game with enemies that said that were named Should Take. Oh really? <laughs> the Shitakes. Oh I actually thought that too when I was a little the kid. Game said shit. <laughs> when I was a little kid, I thought it said Should Take because I had no idea what Japanese language was. Yeah, or mushrooms. Yeah, or what a, that mushroom was called. That's why I called it a mass immune. Yep. Instead of the uh, correct mass yeah, immune. Yeah, I called it mass immune for years. Mass immune. You wear odd skin. Yep. Oh. Yeah, we we hunt down the the denim dinosaurs. See more more racism. You want of reptites? I beat you up. This game promotes racism it and does. prejudice. It does. It really does. There's nothing but prejudice in this game. Even 65 million BC. Look at that long hair. <clears throat> Ooh. Mm. Yep. Her hair's like Sorry, hitting but... her feet. <laughs> and, well, look at her uh, wavy skirt dick. Yeah, look at the the <laughs> skirt dick on the other guy. They look like just like dangling green balls. <laughs> this lady's got a frog <laughs> attached to his waist. <laughs> Maybe he does. They gotta wear their. Uh, they make clothing out of something. Yeah. Uh, what is this dong talk with with Mac, uh, Fletch, and Ryan? Oh, and there's. Ryan. Look at that hair bounce. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you're not Ryan. Don't. She's just that. walking in place. She's doing a little dance. Can't you hear the 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 drum music? Oh, look yeah. at her tatas flopping around. Also, can we point out that there are bear skins, but there are no bears? Yeah, they don't see a bear in the game. They killed them all. Yeah, that's why they only have the skins. I'm pretty sure those, those are tiger are... skins, by the way. Look at the lips on those fish. Oh, I know. He, oh, man, he looked so surprised, too. He's like, oh, I got caught. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm still alive. Help me. And what is that, giant me. lobster? Like, I was, oh, or Kino is so sad. He's like, yo, Ayla doesn't give parties for me. Go. Yeah, that's the most oh, character development he gets in one line. Yeah. He knows jealous of Chrono. There we go. That's his motivation. Yep, pretty much. And like we got Party Girl Naughty over here. How, how complex could their motivation really be, Mac? They're basically Neanderthals. And oh, we got Luca. <laughs> Look at her uh. skirt dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, she had a skirt dick. She's over here getting the. Uh, this is just a, basically yeah, a giant vat. Of, this is a giant vat of alcohol right here. You gotta drink it up, dog. And Luca will not stop eating and drinking all night long. And we got a. Uh, like a woman. Yeah, Marl is over in Isla or Ayla are chit chatting over here, laughing about Chrono. <laughs> they're, they're, they're laughing about Chrono. <laughs> oh, <laughs> something was funny. What's so funny? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Can we, can we just transpose the uh, the audio from the background of the doll into the <laughs> <laughs> scene? Domestic abuse between Chrono and Marl? That's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not domestic funny. Domestic abuse is a serious crime, Steve. But I can't Being stop active. laughing. I don't know why I addressed it to Steve. I was looking at Steve's name on the list. <laughs> oh, she just spanked her booty. Did you see that? That's what she oh. does. Oh. Dude, in one gulp, oh, I bet. She's heard that. <laughs> Luca's so unladylike. Mm. See, I don't know. I would still be partying with Marl in this case, because she just slapped her hiney and giggled about it. I don't know. Luca's getting wasted, though. <laughs> that was the classy thing to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, Marl's pretty fun, but I could take advantage of Luca, so. <laughs> Yeah, Chrono likes to drink, Luca likes to drink, they got things she's, in common. She's doing a twirl, she's doing a twirl. Yep. Yeah, she's having fun, look at her. She's doing the glasses thing. Yeah, she don't thing. need no man. Yeah, she's asking for it. <laughs> Jesus. She, she's she's <laughs> tipping I'm, her I'm, glasses I'm at you. I'm recusing myself from this, uh, <laughs> this stream. Steve, uh, Steve just reacted to me accidentally saying his name. <laughs> in, in relation uh, to the rape. I'm sorry. Uh, Alright, after you exhaust all of the uh, text with everyone, you can talk to Isla. You learn about the Ioka and Labura tribes. Or Laruba. Mike yeah. Laruba. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Fletch. Uh, but Isla no lose. 
Wasn't one of the like big things about the uh, DS tra uh, retranslation was that they fixed one of her lines that was like really confusing before? Uh, I don't know. I was never uh, confused about her lines. I remember there was one that, that kind of like <clears throat> didn't make very much sense and um, like grammatically. Uh, yeah, uh, yep. not, well, not grammatically because she doesn't speak with proper grammar. Yeah. Grandma. <laughs> grandma. Grandma. What are you talking well, about my grandma well, for, <laughs> dickhead? <laughs> she don't speak no problem. Uh, yeah, but here's yeah. the uh, the infamous soup race. Yeah, they're you drinking. Nailed it last time, so they're drinking know. soup here. Yeah, That's you right. practice. Practice makes perfect. All right. Jacking who's it? who's winning? I think I'm catching up. I just realized I was watching the stream, I'm like, what, what, why you hit the button? It hasn't even started yet, you <laughs> Yeah, it started. Hello? Hello, sailor! What? What do you want? <laughs> Leela Orly. Hello. Oh, well, hello. Hello, Leela. Hello. That's because it's an awesome game! Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um... <laughs> no, to be fair, there was only domestic abuse once. Yeah. <laughs> hey Fletch, uh, how long have you been streaming? Uh, I don't know. Well, if you open up OBS at the bottom, it'll give you a uh, time. Really? Doesn't know. Yep. Uh, one hour and forty minutes. All right. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm I'm not. F Damn it! Where the hell was it? It it was it was some line about how like uh. She talks about how, like, Ayla grow old, have kids, die, Hello. and stuff like Hung that. Hello, Hungarian <laughs> hippos. Translation, <laughs> grow old. Maybe I can find it this way. So how long do you guys want to do this for? We're actually starting to finally get some people in here. Uh, no. well, let's finish off the, uh, the... the... <clears throat> I know we only said... Maybe we can, wait, let's make the mass immune. There we go. Yeah, I know we said two hours, but we got... We probably we... extend it. <laughs> we gotta make people happy. Yeah, I mean, we finally got some people in here after like two hours of playing. I I'm definitely gonna find this damn... Uh... Oh, I'm supposed to move. <laughs> I'm just exhausting text. Snort and uh, It's and here's a line the... where Ayla talks about her kids. Oh, I think that's way later. Doesn't she, she, she says, like, uh, ancestors instead of descendants or something? Isn't that what it is? Yeah, she's talking about... She's talking with Kino. So, somebody somewhere in this game talks about ancestors when they mean descendants. Ooh, that's all I remember. Want? No, that's not what I'm referring to, but that's probably right. Although, Actually, according want... to the uh, Chrono Compendium, there was originally a line about right, 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 giving right. boobs. What? Giving boobs? I don't know, okay, I don't like so the Chrono Compendium. Ayla's lines after the letter from Lean were slightly doctored to omit references to nursing babies. Here's the original dialogue. So this is when they find the letter from uh, Queen Lean to Marl, I guess? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so Ayla says, oh, leave nest. Ayla understand that too. Terran leave nest too. When time pass, leave nest. Marl leave nest too. That great. Leave nest, sleep, bear kids, give boobs, and then kids leave nest again. <laughs> You be okay, not have boobs. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> funny. Uh, Steve says, up. oops. <laughs> uh, oh, we just woke up Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, I guess Ayla was saying that uh, uh, Marl has a modest bust size? I don't yeah. know. That's, I, I, am, I imagine that that was cut for a very good reason. That's... Uh... Boobs are a bigger deal in America than in Japan. I thought they were a way bigger deal in Japan than America, considering how much how big of a deal it is in games that they have the hugest boobs ever. I get the feeling that I Isla 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 what are we saying? Whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's Isla, duh. I think Isla sounds better. Isla. I think Isla sounds better too. Isla. I get the feeling that Isla was a lesbian. 
I think she's no, just, she's... You know, she's just more open with her sexuality, I think. I, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, there's right. the line. Uh, you strong too. Ayla respects strong people, men and women. Yeah, exactly. Bisec not bisexual, but just, you know, just sexual. That's oh, all. actually, you know what? That, but, but that does, it's just, that is kind of, um, Marl and Luca's reaction to that does suggest, like, the, the, the bisexuality, though, because Marl's got this, like, oh, brother, like, reaction, and Luca actually says, where have they been keeping her? <laughs> As if, uh, you know... She's she's so outside the norm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it really shouldn't have been cut. <laughs> boobs line? You would have liked it if they kept the boobs in there? Yeah, it was a funny line. I mean, kids might not have gotten it, but... Yeah, uh, I still like, you got whacked because you're weak. Oh my god, it's my favorite line from Magus. You got whacked because you're weak. Yeah. Yeah. He says that when if you talk to him as Chrono at the end of time. Yeah. Good line, admittedly. Or not. You got, <laughs> you got whacked because you're weak. <laughs> Magus has scary. a few good lines. It feels he has like, a lot of great lines that they completely feels, butchered in the DS. It feels like they, uh... <laughs> it feels out of character for him, though. It, it, it does, but it's funny. Uh, my favorite Magus lines are, uh... Either, um... When... Like when you beat Ozzy the second time, and uh, if if you have Magus in your party, he'll say something about like uh, it all being like a dream, their goal of, of like the mystics ruling the world or whatever. Yeah. I forget how he puts it, but it was really good. And I like when you uh, talk to yourself in the frozen like scene where you go to replace Chrono's body. Yeah. Uh, he says, uh, "Such a pity we weren't able to change a thing." Yep. I love that line. Um, not not to detract from that, uh, Steve likes big nips. Apparently. <laughs> let's, let's, let's continue talking <laughs> about the game. I just wanted to <laughs> acknowledge that. Yep. See if like those dinner plates. <laughs> oh, Psychedelic like Samurai, no, you didn't miss the Magus boss fight yet. No, we we're, haven't gotten uh, there yet. Yeah, this is just our first trip back in time, so we're, uh... We're, this is the first trip back to 65 million BC. Yep, so after first... this, you make the mass immune, you go get Frog, and then you beat the shit out of Magus. Yeah, we have to walk up to his castle. Mm-hmm. Man, now talk about a wicked-ass, like, intro to a boss fight. I love that it's one that, like, the music is designed around the scene, or, like, the scene is designed... Like, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, where uh, the music of the battle track starts playing before the fight actually starts, and you have that, like, those lines of dialogue to lead into it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's awesome. a it's really good intro to a, uh, an area. They don't really... They don't do that much. There's, like, one for uh, the Black Omen, I think. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, there are few, there are few RPG areas I can think of that have as much atmosphere as yeah. Magus' castle does. And you may notice this is one of the few instances where someone other than Chrono is going to act first. Yeah, because Ayla's fast. Ayla has super fast attack speed. <laughs> yes. Steve, we've talked about it being Massa Mune, but <laughs> we, we've decided collectively that since we all called it the Massa Moon when we were younger, we're gonna keep calling it that. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Lila or Lee. Oh, very nice. Lila. Lila? Lila? Lulu Dallas multipath? Flounder in here, Fletch. Save me. What? Layla? <laughs> Save me. I can't even read it. It's like in a weird green color. I can't read it. Layla? I think it's Layla. But Aww, we don't have a... Uh, sad meat boy. I guess... I guess that's links are disabled. Boy, that's, a, that's, that's Isaac from Binding of Isaac. Do we uh, have... The same thing. Do we have control over stuff like that? Uh, no, Binding Mass of Isaac... Moon. <laughs> <laughs> don't... <laughs> Oh, you man. know what? I'm, I'm sure it's gorgeous, Leila, but I'm uh, prejudiced against Frog's theme because yeah, it's guys... out. Because Frog well, is the worst held, character. Uh, well, there was a World Cup on uh, our message board like uh, many, many years back where we did like. It was a World Cup of gaming songs. So it was like from all games all over the place. And the top two finalists were Frog's theme, 
and Corridors of Time. Corridors of Time, of course, which was nominated by me, and should have won, because it's the better <laughs> track. But no! Everybody votes for Frog's theme. Frog's which is theme's like, not even good. It's it's good, but it's like 12 seconds long that repeats. Yeah, it's... Corridors of Time is beautiful, and it's complex. Compared to all the other music in the game, Frog's theme is not good. What's your least favorite track in the soundtrack? Uh, probably Frog's theme. Honestly, I liked, uh, I think Magus' theme is good, Robo's theme is good, even though it's just Rick Astley's never gonna give you up. <laughs> I actually think I... Ayla's theme is the most underdeveloped. I like Luca's theme the most. Is there one that you dislike the most? Nah, yeah, not really. Lucas theme is, uh, it's Fro catchy. Frogs is, Frogs is the most repetitive, I guess. I'd say Ayla's the most repetitive. It's 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 just done 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 done. We haven't used anything. We haven't used any text in a while. And then the one melody part, then it repeats. Frog's theme is definitely catchy. It's got a very great melodic line, but it it does feel underdeveloped. Um, and there's that one part of it that never actually... Does it ever play in the game, like the intro part? I know if you download the OST, like, there's that whole intro part where it's like... Yeah. Like, that whole part. Mm -hmm. never, does it ever actually play in the game? I don't remember. I can't think of it any time that it does. I always remember it fading in and being right into the main part of the theme. I don't know. Maybe. Uh Maybe when he gets to Masamune. The Masamune? Ma 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 Masamune? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's it's, uh, it's, it's just uh, Mesa, and then the moon, moon part is completely silent. But what do I know? The, the Sailor Mune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we just call that the Sailor Mune? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, Quarters of Time. Absolutely beautiful track. One of my favorites in the game. Same with Megas' theme. And, um... 600 AD? Yeah, 600 AD is, is gorgeous as well. That's what Layla said. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. That, 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 mm -hmm. That's an awesome one for piano. Oh, wait. I just realized that I'm watching the, uh... The stream and not the... It's alive. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> It's easier to watch the it's easier to watch the stream because it's smoother, even if we're behind. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been kind of teaching myself a few songs on on guitar because I got a, a hold on a guy named go by going by the our uh, username Lon Lon JP did like a bunch of solo guitar arrangements of a bunch of game songs. And then decided that uh, nobody's allowed to post the tabs for them online because he wants to make money off of them, so he like sells them, mm. even though that's technically kind of shady because it's not like he. Yeah, he's just doing a remix of another song. Yeah, I don't but know. You can it, sell it, you can sell the music for that if it's an original composition, which it is technically. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's I think it's murky enough, but I it, mean it's, it's murky. Still, it's still really stupid and. Dude. Apparently, the, the degree in which like he's been able to take down other people's like tabbings of his music, like and and somebody will tab it by ear, which is a fucking endeavor to to try and write out any music by ear, especially uh, a complex acoustic guitar arrangement of something. Yeah. And then like you'll they'll post it somewhere and he'll get it taken down. That's kind of that's kind of bullshitty, I think. Um, but he does have some pretty pretty arrangements. And including Frog's theme, maybe I'll learn that. It should only take me 20 seconds, because it just repeats over and over again. Yeah. Aha, that was a backhanded thing. Okay, I, I should start harping. <laughs> stop harping on that song. It's a good yeah, song. Yeah, stop, stop, stop harbor freighting. I almost got you Steve again. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop I, I get everybody mixed up with Steve. He's a very cool dude. Have Are you going to stop at Megas' castle, or beat Ozzy, or beat Megas, and then end the stream? I don't know. Oh, I think I feel like <laughs> I feel like we could. Uh, the mess means not that far away. I mean, probably half an hour. You guys could 
But I, I, I mean, I, I've actually got, I can't keep doing this all night. I'd like to. Yeah. No, I, I say we, we stop at forging the Master Moon, and then our next recording session, boom! We open up so with freaking Max's castle, which is, like, I'd say it'd be the height of the game if Seal didn't exist. Yeah. Actually, wait, wait, wait. That, that'd be even more awesome because think of that. It's gonna be Magus's castle, followed immediately by the Tyranno Lair, which is also awesome, followed mm -hmm. immediately by Zeal. Yep. It's the best stretch it's of the game. It's really a lot of areas, good areas back to back. And we get to meet, once we get to Zeal, we get to meet the best character in the whole game. Shala! No, I'm talking about Dalton. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dalton. <laughs> Dalton is awesome. That was, that was so wrong with me. <laughs> did you guys play the DS uh, remake? I never did. I have it. I haven't played it all the way through yet. I ended up completing it too because I'm a loser and I like completing things, so I wanted to get all the endings and whatnot. Yeah. But the uh, half of the bonus content is actually really good, and the final boss, or not the final boss, the second to final boss of the uh, the big bonus dungeon is actually Dalton. Like, oh, yeah. The dimensional Void. You talked about this on the last part of the stream. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just, it's it's so great to see him be used again because yeah. he really and, uh, was a shining highlight. Yeah, and just so you guys know, you want to use electricity on dinosaurs. Yeah. They, they Do they ever actually teach you that? Yeah, I think someone mentioned someone, it. Too. Yeah, someone in the village Probably will mention it. Town. Yeah, in town. In huts. <laughs> yep. And they're just like, ah! <laughs> I'm shocked. Ah. That's the sound of his mouth being forced in that open position this whole time. He's ah. just he's just sitting there screaming, "Don't tase me, bro!" Please stop! <laughs> I have a family. Don't tase me, Brono. Brono. <laughs> so you, this, that's what you call it when you see a, a black dude lady, cosplaying please. as Chrono. When's the next stream? Asks the chat. Uh, I don't know. When's the next Chrono Trigger stream is a good question. We kind of uh, switch it up between games. Yeah. Uh, so it, our next stream won't necessarily be this. It but, won't be uh, Chrono Trigger, it'll be something else. If you got here through VG streams, we'll always post it there, as long as we don't forget, like, the last time when we forgot. Which I guess was a redundant thing to say. But yeah, hopefully next uh, Drew and I will finish Battle Block Theater. Yeah. What's going on? Me and Ryan, uh... We're probably, probably going to do Ninja Turtles stuff this weekend. Oh, that'd be nice. Good luck on Ninja Turtles 1. <laughs> we might just... I don't think we're going to do all full, like, all Ninja Turtle games. Just maybe a couple of our favorites. Like, I, he'll pick his favorite, I'll pick my favorite. See, I, I like the idea of you guys just trying Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1 and seeing how far you can get. Because I am I imagine that it'll last a half hour and then you move on. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe, maybe we could do that. It took me 20 years to beat that game. Like, I, I had that game on... Yeah, that could t you had it on for 20 years straight? Yep. <laughs> no, I had it on, um, what is it called? Five, five and a quarter inch floppy? Is that the big floppy? <laughs> I had it on the big ass floppy. Yeah. Show your mom a big floppy. Like a, the actual floppy. floppy. Yeah, so I had it on, like, actual floppy, which I played on my Tandy 1000 uh, <laughs> back in the day. We'll and I can never beat Turtles it. In time, by the way. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt, but we'll, we'll definitely be doing Turtles in Time. Alright. You All right, finally beat it. Yeah, well, it, it took me 20 years, because I, I didn't beat it on Tandy 1000, I didn't beat it on NES when I owned it, and then one night when I was uh, playing through like all my old games to kind of clear out my backlog, I got really drunk and was like, you know what, I'm going to play this game. And I somehow did it. And I hardly even remember how. So that stupid underwater stage it always gets me. Yeah, it's I really tough. It. I did I did it when I was a kid, and I do not recall. The underwater stage was never a problem with me. For me, it was always the Technodrome. Because there's this one section right at the end where you're just running down a corridor, and these flying guys come in and beat the shit out of you, and they never stop respawning. And uh, the closest I ever came before to beating it was I had all four turtles, and I got to that corridor, and then all four of them died before I even made it to the final boss. <laughs> This time when I played through it, I realized there was a trick that could get those flying dudes to despawn without attacking you. So I just took it slowly and like inched forward throughout the corridor, making sure they all despawned, and I made it to the end with like all my turtles. And when you killed Shredder? Allegedly, yes. Allegedly. 
Uh, Steve's saying that he also had a uh, Tandy 1000. They were the best. We um, had a Commodore 64. I don't remember what we had. It was like weird and small. And it I was didn't like, know it. I didn't know it as it, a Commodore 64 at the time. But yeah, I just knew it as a computer that had green text. <laughs> Steve, we already tried System Shock 2, and it didn't work.